What you are about to see is amazing. This man has Parkinson's disease. His symptoms are classic. Tremors and handshakes so severe, he can't even pick up a glass of water. But in just a short time, these tremors will be gone, thanks to a new surgical procedure at Christus Spawn called deep brain stimulation. So just who is a candidate for this highly advanced surgery? The medications we have currently available are very effective at treating the symptoms for most patients. However, uh, there are always a few patients that after a while either the medicines lose their effectiveness or they don't work as well as we'd like and they, they remain disabled. They have to have clearly diagnosed Parkinson's disease and there are some other illnesses that can mimic Parkinson's disease. You have to have not gotten as good uh, results from the medicine uh, as you would like uh, and then of course you, you can't have any major risks in turn you can't have uh, say end stage renal failure. You may bring it in closer. So just how does deep brain stimulation work? Surgeons implant a device under the skin around the chest area called a brain pacemaker which sends electrical impulses to specific parts of the brain. It delivers electrical stimulation to targeted areas in the brain that control movement blocking the abnormal nerve signals that cause the tremors from Parkinson's. Uh, we have the patient who's wide awake during surgery. We actually test their function before surgery and during surgery. So we want to make sure whatever we're treating, the tremor or rigidity, gets uh, treated while we do the procedure. We get an MRI and CT scan beforehand. We target where we want to treat in the brain. Typically in, in, in the Parkinson's disease, we treat the subthalamic nucleus, a very small nucleus, about four or five millimeters in size and we put an electrode through the, the skull into the, into the thalamus to the targeted area and still with that part of the brain. When Dr. Alexander sends the electric current impulses into a specific part of the brain, he can then determine the exact amount of current needed from the pacemaker to end the tremors. So this is the brain itself, and so we're targeting areas in the brain in the subthalamic area, subthalamic nucleus area. So we target electrodes, very pinpoint, very calculated areas what we want to target. So this is the white matter. That's white matter. This is the gray matter. The moment we touch this layer, we shouldn't know it. Here, you can easily see the incredible results of deep brain stimulation. The tremors in this patient's hands completely stop when doctors pass the correct amount of current through the electrode into his brain. Two zero. So the 2.1, 2.5. No tremor. Yep, that's it. Carl Burnell, who lives in San Diego, Texas, had deep brain stimulation surgery with Dr. Alexander. He knows only too well how tremors can have a devastating impact on the way you live. It was like this. And then after the operation, it just stopped altogether. So what could you not do because of that tremor? I couldn't be normal. I'm left-handed. Eating and writing was a problem. And now that he's had the surgery, his life has turned around. It's uh, like nine days. It's a whole different ball game now, you know. I can see with a fairly normal life. Well, I can run. I, can, I exercise and weight lift all that stuff. My kids, of course, I can carry them and play with them and do things that I couldn't do before. Oh, you must want to really want to look into it. If you can do it. It makes it all the difference in the world.